and the real topic today is we're going to continue having the 0 .008 um, blood alcohol standard. And that's something that's worked successfully in our state for a number of years. Um, it needed to be renewed. We're moving forward with continuing it. And the results prove themselves out. This is a case where the data really shows this is an important thing to do. And one point of data I'll share with you, and we have any more experts talking later, is it showed that from the time period of 2004 through 2011, it reduced alcohol-related crashes by about a third in terms of third less crashes. And that's huge um, because that saves lives, it saves a lot of injuries, and so it's a very important thing to do. This was an issue that was brought to my attention by a constituent in my district. He was actually looking through the current laws on the books and was like, there's a sunset in this and I think that's going to be a problem. So brought it to our attention. I was happy to get the legislative process moving on his behalf. I truly believe that's our job representing our constituents to work on their behalf. So this is a common sense bill that puts community safety at the forefront of the argument. And when you have common sense and community safety together, you really can't go wrong with that. As a former assistant prosecutor, one of the key components that I think is a major issue is public safety. And I think what we're doing with this bill is making sure we're keeping our communities safe, we're putting our, our families first, and we're making sure that the roads are safe for them. Um, we do want safe streets, and regardless of uh, .08, regardless of um, whether it's your gender or uh, what kind of um, your age or your drinking history, .08 does show that you're significantly impaired when you do drive. So again, this is a great day for public safety.